it's going to be bad because you cannot get that's like comparing saying like ea is getting diagnosed with terminal cancer right right you can't get worse than that well you probably can't get worse but everybody maybe you can because uh welcome back to the ea press conference analysis where we're going through all the games in order and we're, we're having a more deeper insightful look into each one and oh boy battlefield 5 yay sorry not battlefield 5 battlefield i mean battle royale 5 and you know in his own words take it away press conference man something i know a lot of you have been asking for mm -hmm. it's royale yes. <laughs> it's, it's royale reimagined for battlefield a lot of you have been asking what well, well, you know what score to give game? battlefield because they're showing no Royale. game. No! What? I knew it! Welcome to the year of the Battle Royale, children! Come one, come all! We will bring you experience that I no! But no. This is Battle Royale, the battlefield way. Well, you know everyone in the chat saying no. So special. It's the unmatched intensity of our multiplayer sandbox. That's the lack of chromosomes more more developers making. Fighting across multiple maps and modes. Welcome to your next battlefield experience. And this no. is your first look. Spiral, how did you how did you know it was gonna be a battle royale? Because it's the year of the battle Music. royale, and everybody Holy. wants to fucking do one. Yeah, so <laughs> let's have a look at what the chat thinks about that. Take it away, YouTube chat. Fucking sucks. <laughs> yep, yeah, pretty much, pretty much. So, uh, yeah. Let's just ignore the fact that it's just another World War II shooter again. And it looks fine. It looks... Why did I pick up a fence? It looks fine for what it was when it was shown off. You know, it's... I mean, the graphics are realistic as as all oh World War II shooters have to be. But it looks fine. It looks okay. The assets they've got are pretty high quality. Four out of five. But, you know... You know, Mr. Man... And the music, again, it was 2 out of 5, it was average. They didn't really have that much music, it was just more the gunfire, but... Oh boy! Before you should go anywhere, Spyro, I'm sorry, I, I think I may lay, leave some villagers at your place. They did not want to jump to the hall. Yeah, they're running around, they're fine. Also, I found the glowing sea thing. They'll they'll all get killed at the they'll all get killed when I drop all one hundred of them on an island and watch them fight to the death because you know I'm going to do a battle royale. Let's do it right now. Let's do it right now. We've got an island just out here, haven't we? Somewhere, I think. Maybe not. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Here's a little island right now. Let's do it. Let's copy Battlefield. Because everybody's fucking doing Battle Royale, aren't they? Yeah, fucking drop a hundred of them down there. Woo, look at them go. Look at them go. One hundred people all on an island. Who will win? Who will win? Who will win? Because that's what we got to do this year. It's the year of the Battle Royale. It's the year of the Battle Royale. Everybody's got to do it. These people are already dead. They fell off the island into the fog. Well, yeah. I know who will win. That's that freaking zombie which paid extra. So he's like premium member. <laughs> he got better weapons and stuff. Uh, so yeah, this is this is basically the state of Battlefield right now. It's, uh, as you said, it's doing its own Battle Royale mode. And as you saw from the chat, everybody was screaming no. 
because it's the year of the Battle Royale. And of course, we've had Paladins do it with Realm Royale, the third imitation, because we originally had PUBG number one and Fortnite number two. They were the two competitors, let them do the thing. But then we had Paladins Realm Royale, number three. We had Cliff Blazinski's Radical Heights, number four. We've got Call of Duty Advanced Warfare with its trailer where it's saying, This is something totally new. This is doing Battle Royale the Black Ops way. Yeah, this is, this is Call of Duty Battle Royale, or this is Battle Royale the Call of Duty way, number five, and now we're having Battlefield 5 with a Battle Royale number six. This is the sixth incarnation of this goddamn mess. This is the sixth incarnation of a Battle Royale, and it's just like, Jesus fuck. So... That's that's great. That's lovely. I'm really I'm really glad we're getting a sixth clone of Battle Royale. So that's that's just fantastic. That's great. I really like that. So overall, you know, I'd say the gameplay's pretty fucking average. Or, you know, we would say it's pretty abysmal, but they still have got the regular multiplayer where it's regular standard battlefield, so it's not as bad as a complete shit show like um like Paladin's Realm Royale, where they pretty much were like, "Oh no, dude, that's it. We're just we're just gonna take resources away from the main Paladin's game to work on Realm Royale." No, they've still got their original multiplayer in there, but they're still doing the Battle Royale. So yeah, pretty fucking standard. Pretty pretty shit. The entire situation, shit, isn't it? Explanation. I mean. You showed off some gameplay, so that's kind of like a one, and then you explained what a battle royale is. Well done, you. You 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 told us hundred men dropped in a map. You you explained battle royale, and it's gonna show us the divergent stories of World War Two. So I guess I guess you get a you get a good solid four out of five for your explanations. You didn't show off that much gameplay, but. Do we really need to see it? Hey, I'm going to show off gameplay of fucking Battlefield 5 Royale. Here you go. Oh, sorry, that was Radical Heights. But, I mean, if we just washed out the colours, you wouldn't really be able to tell the difference, though, would you? You, just, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference because all the Battle Royale games are the fucking same now. How did you even get on the top of that? Oh, that's flick. I was going to say, how the hell did you get on the top of that and fall down, Mr. Villager? But, yeah... So, final verdict for Battlefield 5 is it's looking okay at best. So, it get a 3 out of 5, but it immediately goes to a 2 out of 5, and it's going, everything's going to be horrible because they want to put their own goddamn Battle Royale in it, and nobody's happy about this situation. So, look forward to the, to the Battle Royale um, situation. And apparently, they've all gone off the island, and I did see... That Flick was swinging his sword around, killing people. So there you go. Flick was the winner of the battle royale. Here's I'm your premium member. Hmm. I'm premium member. He's a premium member. There you go. He he bought he bought the DLC. He bought the microtransaction and won. So yeah, that was that was Battlefield. And ah, uh, just you know, I'll I'll just fucking I'll do exactly what Alex did in the previous video. I'll throw myself into the lava pit. Just because it's another goddamn Battle Royale game. And I'm so sick of Battle Royale games. And you know what the worst part is? We're not even through the end of the year. I imagine by the time we get to October, November. There's going to be more than six. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we get into the double digits of Battle Royale clones. And I just want to shoot myself for having to cover every single fucking Battle Royale game. But yeah, there you go. That's, that's Battlefield 5, so... Yeah, that's a shit situation. Anyway, we'll try and move on to something more positive. What's next? Oh, yeah. This was the EA press conference. There wasn't that many positive things, really, was there? So, thank you all for watching this video of uh, Battlefield, the, the more... The more tangent you rant of of battle of battle royale field five. 
If you like the video, do please feel free to leave a like. It does help out the channel. If you don't want to miss out on all of the live reactions to the conferences, like the one that was posted a few videos ago, and all of the other E3 content coming up, then do feel free to subscribe. It does, uh, and bing the bell so the notifications actually go through. And there are links down below to the Discord if you want to come in and, and talk and build stuff as Flick is doing and Alex is doing. Uh, there's a link to my Twitter if you want to see me tweeting about each conference in live time. And there's a link to my Patreon if you'd like to support me further. But for now, thank you all for watching. And I'll see all of you in a minute where we'll go, uh, go to the casino and do some gambling.